We face a series of global environmental crises that all come to a head about mid-century. The climate problem, the food problem, the biodiversity problem, and then the water problem. The availability of fresh water is increasingly in peril. And so the generation that is currently in charge is going to have to solve these problems simultaneously. In an interconnected world, we all need to rely upon each other and understand what value everyone brings. I think the environmental sustainability issues are quite clear cut. Net zero planet by 2050 and oil and gas companies, and energy companies have to be at the forefront of that. Low carbon sustainability should be seen as more than just renewables. It's about areas such as biofuels, hydrogen, EV charging, reducing the carbon content associated with producing oil and gas with methane leakage, a key area here. BP need to contribute to livelihood creation, to energy security. They need to look at social equity and access to sustainable energy for the communities that live in the areas where they operate. Our focus is very much on biodiversity in ecosystems. So BP's commitment to net positive impact is central to that and how they couple that with nature-based climate solutions. There are ways for energy companies to create really innovative partnerships with Indigenous communities across the world and that is absolutely critical. I would like to see companies like BP look at the root causes of inequality to prevent exploitation rather than just being reactive. For me, there are two main areas. The focus on mental health and creating a diverse environment that people want to come and work for, regardless of background. Don't forget your human rights legacy. I think social sustainability is the next wave of this. I'd like to see BP think about things like just transition and other concepts where where human rights and climate come together. The first step is to make the commitments that has to be followed up with actions that demonstrate that that commitment is something that BP sees as being fundamental to its future plans. BP made a very important step by taking the commitment on World Heritage Sites and Category 1 protected areas. And these places are extremely important, not only because they are protecting uh, endangered species, they are protecting fragile ecosystems, but they're also important for the livelihood of people. BP could also uh, play an important role to ensure that this is also extended to the rest of the energy sector. They should pay close attention to the sourcing of materials needed for new energy production as we move away from oil and gas. Two words are coming to mind, trust and disclosure. Um, I think the key thing you have to be aware of is that there is no trust. So the strategy may be what it is, the targets may be what they are, and frankly, people don't believe a word of it. The main ask here is for transparency and consistency alongside proof of concept. Financial markets are increasingly likely to reward low-carbon businesses. Shareholders want to be in sustainable investments and their clients want that also. Certified clean products, renewable power, hydrogen and chemicals branded as part of a circular production process. You will be watched by a whole section of society now to ensure that the commitments that you have made are followed through and followed through in a timely manner.